Hello friends, good morning. Welcome back, welcome back to my channel. It's been a really good while since we last sat down and create together. How are you all? I have been well and I'm just super, super busy, but I'm still working on my scrap here. Um, I've I've done pretty good, you all. I pieced them together. I could start as small as this. Um, pardon the shadow over here. I have a light directly up above my camera there. So, um, but wait, I think I might be able to fix that, replace that light and then do the fluorescent instead. So let me, give me a moment. Yay, we got rid of the shadow so where were we like i said i was working on my fabric scrap still um i've done really good you all this is this is the little bit i have left that i'm working on and um, originally i have been piecing them like so and then like so and then like so they get bigger and bigger the plan was to obviously save all this um, fabric scrap and make something new with them again and uh, my goal was to go ahead and make new doggy beds for my dog and and this how big i have gotten it is folded in half so right now it measures 36 inches by about 20, about 28. So that's a good size. And then just, just imagine all these pieces. Look at all these pieces. I just put them together. Some ends up being really tiny, which, which is nice. I don't mind that at all. They might be even smaller, like this guy right here, so small. Um, they're all in different shape, and, uh, and I just sew them together, and whatever I'm able to salvage, I, I salvage with, and I trim them, and that's how I get the, the little pieces, and, which is really nice. I think it's just a little bit of peak of something in there, like look at this little green here so that's really tiny so it doesn't matter as long as i'm able to sew it together and then i and i do my trimming and then go from there so um a lot of them are like almost in triangular shape and that's okay as you can see right here these are all triangular and uh and i just kind of piece them together look how much I just piece them together and then I get this, I got this big old strip and some are like just solid strip like this Mickey Mouse fabric. So I'm doing really good I think. Um, sometimes I just go do a little square and then I attach it with something to, to make it bigger and, and that's really the key to it you know. and. Uh, and that's how I got to the uh, to this size. Um, I do have a little bit more uh, fabric scrap. I have another box, and um, it takes some time to obviously get to where I'm at right now. Like I said, I go pieces by pieces, and then once they're big enough, like for instance this guy, um, I can maybe attach this together like this. So I'm together, but see, um, you can see there's a little overlap there. Um, that's probably a good inch. So what I'm gonna do is attach some more of, on this piece, about an inch more, and then I can piece the two together. Um, this one is not quite large enough, so I would have to continue working on this one. So this one is almost done and uh, you know, I'll just need to connect or even, even maybe go on the longer end of it. You can see it's not even straight. So when I do cut this up, this, this piece is gonna get 
a little bit more smaller. So I don't iron them until later on. Um, I do press them with, with my finger and I try to open up the seam as I sew them uh, just to help eliminate some of the, the bulk. I do forget every now and then, but that's okay. Again, uh, the, my plan was just to make a um, doggy bed out of this, but it's so pretty, you know. Um, I had made some um, table um, mats with with my fabric scrap before and they turn out really really pretty people comes to my house and see them they think they're just so so neat and um beautiful so that's where i'm at and i have just a little bit left and so what i did i don't know if you could see my tracing there it's gonna be a journal tag so you can make all sorts of things with your fabric scrap. And if you're like me, who's hesitant to, to get rid of your um, scrap, always think of ways to, to make use of them. Um, this is a really small project to, to put together. Now, right now I'm just piecing the fabric. I will iron them and then I would put a little bit of a batting on them and then of course the back. When I make my journal tags, I leave the bank back solid and I just use um, solid um, tan natural color fabric and then um, I, will, um, I will stamp it. I will stamp it so um, you, can, you can use it to write notes on it or um, you know, write your favorite books on it, or you can use it as a gift tag and you can write a, a sweet, lovely message on the back. Uh, so that's what I do with mine. So at this point, this is the beginning section of my um, project. Um, I cut it a little more than uh, the actual size of the journal tag I wanna use. Um, but that's because I want to just give myself a little bit of seam allowance. I might use my pinking shear at the end here so I'll have a nice shared edge uh, on my tags. I'm not sure yet. This is a great way to um, recycle or upcycle your um, fabric scrap. So it's super simple. Um, all I do is I take, I just piece, I don't even think of um, whatever pieces I might have. So I will just take whatever piece. Okay, let's, let's do this one. They're good, pretty good size. Um, so if I, if I sew them together like this, I'll get a good, decent amount like that. It's almost a rectangular shape. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to line it. I'm just going to use a quarter seam allowance. Um, today I am using my treadle. To sew, I love using this. Um, it's a lot of fun to use, and the fact that I don't need to use energy except my own pedaling, <laughs> um, it's awesome because right now it's summertime and everybody is um, running their air conditioning, including me. So I, I like to just not use as much. Um, electric as I can and this treadle is perfect. So now we have that piece and I could probably get another um, piece and then um, with a similar shape and then I can I can piece them together. Now these are not really similar and this is how what we get that little bitty piece on our fabric. So now I just piece them together. And then I can just trim it later. And like I said, I like to just use my finger and press that seam open just to help some with the bulk. So now I have that straight edge. I can go ahead and connect those like that and
and then before you know it you'll have a big enough piece of fabric to work with to create your your tag tag is doesn't take very much um, material and so that's where this piece is looking at right now let's go ahead and take care of this section and uh, let's do this yellow okay it covers from there to there so it's going to be an odd shape but that's okay because we're going to be trimming it this machine is so awesome it's it's not very loud at all i feel like the electric machine is louder than this so this is what it looks like i mean feel free to use your iron to speed up this this process at this point but um, look it's looking really good so um, I have a little template here so I just need just a little bit more um, I could probably use put it up here uh, so let's see what to use what to use this one looks good so let's go ahead and and attach it to see if that'll give us enough for our tag. Okay, it's going to be tight on the edge, but let me see if it's plenty. It's, it's enough. It's enough for us to cut it. And so, and so that's how I, I process this tag at this point so it's plenty of room and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and trim it I'm just rough draft the the um, tag here just giving myself a little bit more seam seam allowance there so so that's good enough for me. I'm gonna go trim this, trim this guy. Oops, I didn't give myself allowance, but so that's where it's at. I just need to iron this and then what, once I'm done, Look how, how nice that that Louisiana plate showed up there. It says, I love you. That's really cool. So I love that. I love that. You just never know what's going to show up. So that's that's where this tag is, is at at this point. And, um, and I just need to iron them. And then once they're ironed, I would like to do some stitching on each seam just to give it a little bit more decorative um, decorative finish. Now, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. Um, if you have, if you have a, um, a regular sewing machine that ha offers a lot of different stitching, this is a great way to to use that and you can add all kinds of stitching on it on that but I'm just doing a straight stitch here you can also um, do some hand embroidery if you like if you like to do sashiko stitching, this would be also great to add that on there. And embroidery, obviously. Um, I'm really liking how it's turning out. 
because at this point you don't even necessarily need to iron it because oh oh it's looking really nice you can use different thread if you like to make that stitching really um, pop so anyways I just wanted to share that with you guys um, I hope you're um, finding ways to to be creative today uh, I know it's been a while and I've just been super busy and pretty soon I'll be able to share with you guys what I have been working on. What's keeping me so busy that I have not been able to really um, share with you guys, connect and, um, and uh, craft with you together. So. This is done and this is what it looks like. It's super fast. What do you think? I hope you guys like this project. I will come back in the end and uh, I'll show you the end result. So, all right friends, that's all I have for now. You all take care and I hope to chat with you again back on the regular schedule. All right, friends, so here they are. I went ahead and uh, managed to make four and I decided to finish them different way. So you, you have an option. Um, there's many more ways to, to finish this, um, but this is just a very basic. So I hope I'm able to give you um, a little bit of a inspiration on how else you can um, repurpose your your fabric scrap i love making this because they're they're just so fast and easy so the first one i did is i just simply just sewn everything on the edge and then i took my pinking scissors and just cut around all edges and and that's that's the uh the way it turned out and then of course my classic stamp back and um and that's it and then this one is very very simple nothing much done of course i seamed around it just to keep it nice and um, you know sturdy and then i just kind of curved the edges i just kind of curved the four edges there so uh rounded them up a little bit so that's one look and then this one is just i left it just as is and all of them are stamped on the back and then i decided to go ahead and use uh, the leftover fabric scrap that I have that are long enough to to uh, turn into a little uh, ribbon on top of my um, tag here. So just very basic and you can see and I just kind of did a running stitch on all edges of my um, my tags. And then this one, I went ahead and did hand stitching. I did the blanket stitch all the way around. You can do this in different colors that you like. I think it turned out really cool, especially if you turn it over on the back. So, and then I'll, I, I like to save my satin ribbons that I get from like gifts or packaging, you know? So um, I like to save those I have so much here in this little jar um, and I just kind of took some of that used it you can see some of them are still crinkled um, all you need to do is just iron those and they should be good to go but that's how I recycle um, stuff here in my house you guys have been with me you know how I don't like to um, to waste anything I'm very frugal in that aspect so but here's an idea for you guys um, these are great um, holiday is coming up and uh, I think this will be great as a, a gift tag and and you can write a nice um, message on the back for somebody to treasure for a long time and then they can use it to whatever they want to use you can use it as a bookmark they're not very thick they're not very thick at all so they work really great for a bookmark. So yeah, super easy. Uh, I hope you give it a try. Let me know what you think. And with that, I'll go ahead and let you guys go. Enjoy the rest of your week. 
and uh, have a wonderful weekend and I hope to chat with you again really really soon bye take care everybody